So I'm really excited about what I'm doing for, honestly, like probably the first time in my artistic career that I've been this excited about this series that I'm creating. It's a combination of the application and the performance of creating graffiti and then sort of the elimination of graffiti, which now brings it into the abstract. I've always looked at what we call the buff. There's a tag that shows up on a, on a public wall, you know, and then the city, uh, city worker, property owner, vigilante, another artist comes and paints over the tag, right, or covers it up. And generally there's like a scar, you know, a patch that doesn't usually match the original wall color. And then another tag shows up, and then another patch, and so on and so forth. And so that after a time, you've got this patchwork on this wall, and I've always looked at that as an abstract painting because it's all graffiti. It's all interaction with space by humans. There's a dialogue. Someone puts their name up to be known and recognized. Someone doesn't like it and they cover it up. But that covering is also a form of graffiti. It's a mark on a wall. And then to do it on canvas in the public as a performance kind of disrupts the intent of the core of what graffiti is about. And then because I'm doing it open air, plan air, I like the concepts of that culture. Uh, the whole Van Gogh, set your easel up and paint the landscape, you know, in real time. But then I'm disrupting what that's all about by doing a graffiti aesthetic and not painting a landscape or painting like something that's, that I'm looking at. This work here, the face work, this is a separate than what I'm doing here. This is something I'm dealing with, which it involves graffiti, but it involves more about my makeup as a biracial artist, as a multicultural person black father, white mother. And the last couple years, how that's kind of been brought to the forefront, our dealings with racial issues and tensions. So I've decided to embark on this process that I'm calling the fallacy of race and kind of look at each other through our humanity. I'm first dealing with mixed couples, you know, primarily African-American and European-American, white and black, because those are my parents, you know, and to kind of get us to ameliorate our society. We need to do better, be better, look at each other for our humanity and stop looking at each other for our complexion, you know, and, and value each other for what we're bringing to the table. What's your contribution to society and humanity? And I'd like to invite people to come out to Bloomington Artistry Gallery to look at graffiti art for one as a viable means of artistic expression and to come in and maybe have your own opinions about it. You know, how do we as humans communicate with each other through writing, through expression, through gestural movements? And how does that tie into art? And, you know, what is your, what is your place? Like, what are you doing? What are you doing to contribute to our humanity? So these are the questions that I'm trying to ask in my work.